I just want to offer you my simple advice. We have reduced in the finance bill digital content withholding tax from 15% to 5% because we want to create new media stations from digital content creators who will inform people on Facebook, on TikTok, on WhatsApp, na hizo zingine Instagram na zile zingine zote. My simple advice to our media houses. Today you may imagine you are fighting with the government of the Republic of Kenya. But you are fighting with change. In another five years, mainstream media will be made very irrelevant if you do not stick to being objective and informing Kenyans the truth. Because by the time you are reporting news at 9 p.m., TikTok, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, WeChat, na hizo zingine zote, watu wamejulishwa na wamejulisha na wenyewe. Maneno hii ya watu ya media, wasema hini wanataka kusema, na sisi tuseme hini tunataka kusema. Kwa sababu siku nyingi wamekua kisema peke yao. Sasa na sisi tuseme maneno yetu. Wawo waseme yao, na sisi tuseme maneno yetu. Last week muka sema, watu wasiake advert kwa sereka kwa gazeti. Lakini nataka uendeleza kutokea hapo. Itakuwaji, watu wenye wananuluwa gazeti Kenya Nzima, number one, inakuwa ni serekali. Sasa wewe ni waziri, umekaa kwa ofisi yako, umenunuwa gazeti, menunuluwa na pesa wapanya kazi, na kwa hida gazeti imeandikuwa broken promises. Na ni pesa ya serekali imenunuwa. Waja kama mtu nataka kununuwa gazeti, anunuwa na pesa hake. Pesa ya budget, wekea watu kwa hasra fund, waja kupekeo miatano, wekea wata ifike ya ruku moja, ile pesa hote mrugo mnatumia kununuwa magazeti, mpanyia kitu ingine. Mimi istaki niseme kuzi. Unajua mimi ama trained journalist, nilikuwa muandishu wa habari, nilikuwa msomaji wa habari, na nataka kuambia watu wa media, mahali tuliachana, because wakati nilikuwa nasoma habari, Radio ilikuwa tofauti kuliko vile hiko sasa. TV zilikuwa tofauti kuliko zile eh, ziko sasa. Kwa nini? Sababu wakati wetu hatukuwa na opinion. Journalists, we did not have our own opinion. We were just reporting what was said and what was said. Lakini kwa sasa, waandishu wa habari wameanza kuwa na opinion. Sasa wa ukekuwa na opinion, ni nini sasa wewe utafanya mimi na mimi nisikuwe na opinion. Sisi tutaendelea kuongea because we are also media owners. Niko Facebook. Yo si ni media. Eh niko Instagram, siyo ni media. Niko kila mal we are all media owners, we have cameras, kila mtu wakona simu. So we are all journalists. So musije mukasema ni nyinyi tu. Hapana, ata sisi tutaendelea kuongea. Kwa hayo I want to assure you as but as been said by Senator Karongo and uh, also Senator Methu and KJ when Safaricom advertises with you, you don't write a single negative story about Safaricom. But government for a long time advertises at 70% in media houses and buys, in fact, for instance, one newspaper whose name I won't mention but it's the biggest, prints 80,000 copies a day. Out of those 80,000 copies, 64,000 are bought within government and put in government. The rest are sold in the street and 20,000 comes back as returns. Therefore, we, cannot, we don't have a problem with you writing what you may and we will defend you for what you write and may. But, but, if you write what is wrong, we will counter you with system your fact and do not complain. Because you can say what you may, but we must say what the church has told us to unleash our full potential in spirit and in truth. God. That even our media will have to understand that we are all in one boat. That we cannot afford to sink this ship. If the ship called Kenya sinks, we all sink with it. I am a journalist. I believe in the freedom of press. I believe that they should have the freedom to express themselves. However, they also have a public duty to communicate the truth to the Kenyans. There is a responsibility that the people who broadcast to the people of Kenya must take. At least, kama kitu ni kizuri, tunasema ni kizuri. Mahali kitu ni kibaya, tunakubali ni kibaya na kirekebishwe. Lakini, patriotism inasema, 
kama kuna jambo ambalo litajenga taifa hilo lifanyeni